Yo, what up Doja fam? How's it going? Shinobi here and today I'm going to talk to you about awareness. When it comes to trials, a lot of people kind of lack uh, awareness on where their enemies are for flank, stuff like that. They don't realize that they're in an open spot and there's nowhere to get cover from. And I think awareness helps you so much when it comes to trials of Osiris so you can get that crispy lighthouse. Um, now, my biggest tip I can give to you is to play Rumble. The reason being is because Rumble, you have to look everywhere all the time. It's not one team versus another team where you're just pushing and you have that, that ally next to you. In Rumble, you're solo dolo, so you need to look at your left, your right, um, the floor below you, um, the room above you, stuff like that. So. I think Rumble is really good for when it comes to just overall practice in general. Your awareness will go up, go up your shots, your 1v1s, your encounters, um, when to back down, when to push. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to play a Rumble game. I'm going to talk to you, uh, give you some commentary while I play so you get through, um, get into a little bit of my head when I'm playing. So here we are. We're here chilling. Actually, let me get my passage. I haven't got my passage yet for this week and this week is uh first light but we're not going to talk about that not not until stream we're not going to talk about my opinion on first light until uh till till we have to yeah 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 and rumble it's a little hard to snipe giving like that uh you have more of a tighter map because when you're sniping usually you want to make sure that uh you have you know you have some cover behind you you have that behind you is safe like somebody's watching your six like your teammates are running around on the side so you have no way to you have no reason to turn around but in rumble somebody could spawn right behind you and you're dead you know as you're hard scoping and trying to get a couple kills so sniping in Rumble is a little tougher. So you'll see more shotguns there. Just be aware of that. I'm gonna try out my new Hawksaw. I haven't used it yet, but I just upgraded it. High caliber rodeo rifle barrel. Use whatever primary you're comfortable with. If you like the pulse, then use the pulse. Uh, seems like pulse rifles have come up a lot in uh, the last few months. From the grasp. Actually, first it was a Hawksaw, then the grasp. Now everybody's on the Clever Dragons and the Blind Perdition. So, even the Raid Pulse isn't bad at all either. So, I definitely see uh, that Pulse Rifle game coming up. But if you use Auto Rifles, you know, use an Auto Rifle. Not many people do. And I think that the Vision Stone, which is the Trials Auto Rifle, I hope that's what it is. I hope Vision Stone is the Auto Rifle. I don't want to see corrections in the comments like, yeah, no, that's not, that's a shotgun. Like, oh, my bad. But yeah, that auto rifle is really good. It has more impact than the Doctrine. A little less uh, on the fire rate, but it has crowd control. Um, it has a range and stability. It's a pretty nice auto rifle. I'm not going to get into weapons too much, but bottom line is use something that is comfortable for you. Whether you use auto rifles, pulse rifles, Hand cannons or scouts. Oh, let's exit. Let's go. I actually like this map. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah, I'll rock the Hawksaw. Why not? I haven't used a Hawksaw in a while. My go to use like the multi tool. Uh, we'll see. Hunter Nation and a Titan? Damn. Damn. Alright, here we go. So, I got a good spawn. I'm assuming someone's going to be outside then. Go ahead and check. Yep, a couple over the top ticket. Automatic. It's pretty weak over here too. Pushing just a little bit. Yeah, he's engaged with somebody anyway, so. You can get that. Somebody's pushing up. Back up a little bit. 
Uh, he got the stick, but it's okay. Notice how I saw him coming up to the door. There's no reason for me to push in like that, knowing that he's going to push me. I'm assuming he has a shotgun, which he did, so that's why I didn't go that way. I have a couple ticket cafe area. I hear shots. I'm going to wait a little bit. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, I got stuck on a wall there. Unfortunate. I put my shotgun out thinking he was going to push a little more aggressive, which he didn't, so good stuff on him. A lot of the battles seem to be happening around cafe, outside, top ticket area. So my go-to when I spawn is to come this way and look for people to fight. Also because of that, I know people are going to be coming this way, so that's why I'm just patiently waiting. Somebody's coming up right now. And there you go, Clever Dragon, good stuff. On certain maps, you'll get a feel after playing Rumble for a while. You'll know where um, a lot of the, I call them the hot spots, where everybody goes to hang out and fight. Like right now, the hot spot seems to be the, the tunnel way. So if there's a Womp over there real quick, push him back. Not able to clean a kill, but somebody else is pushing him, so I'm going to push the guy pushing my guy. Couldn't get both kills, but it's all good. And we're going to wait for this person. Uh, we'll slide shotgun, why not? Yeah, there you go. You're in the lead. Oh, but that burn damage, good stuff. Another thing, too, is to spectate. Spectate where the enemies are. Where are they running to next, you know? And sometimes it helps to check out and look where the leader of the pack is. Might be bad for me. Oh yeah, okay. That clever dragon's nasty. Alright, so I see that the top person is down there top bottom ticket. Going up to top. See now I'm forced because of this rumble, I'm forced to check out all the different avenues. It's not just looking for you know that one person that's weak. I'm looking for everybody. Putting shots on whomever. Whenever I can. Looks like the hotspot's going back to cafe. One down here. Might be coming up to lobby. Here, a blade dance. Yeah. Yep. Push a little too hard for that one. Oh, so weak to you. Oh, nice snipe, dude. Nice snipe. He's going to challenge me. See, all because I got body shot doesn't mean not to back down. If you get body shot, you know that they're going to push you. Just keep on putting those safety shots out there. Oh, and that punch from behind. Good stuff. See, I had no idea because I was over there just focused on um, my battle. Should probably switch my tether to... Not black hole, but uh, to quiver. Oh, that clever dragon's disgusting. This isn't a bad uh, hawk saw, though. I like the fact that it has high calibers. See a couple of my motion sensors just kind of waiting it out. Looks like they're backing up a little bit. Oh, they're going for a spawn, maybe? What is he doing? Maybe that's just his happy place. Okay, no biggie, no biggie. I'm gonna go for the weakest one first, and then capitalize on the, uh, the one that has full shield. That way you can, you know, get that easy kill. And as they're distracted, they're probably gonna be a little hurt from that battle anyway, so... Usually an easier kill. Oh, missed a couple shots on that one. This is what I don't like, the fact that heavy. Usually I just bait heavy. But after heavy comes special, so that's my... I focus more on special if I know I can't get the heavy. Quick kill there. Somebody's behind me. It looks like they have a machine gun. 
Yeah, I heard a machine gun for sure, for sure. I'm hitting walls and shit. That's okay, just shade step it. If anybody pushes me, they're going to that tether, so safe for a little bit for my shield to recover. Remember, watch your back, watch your sides, you gotta watch everything in Rumble. Alright, one, 1v1 engagement. No, looks like I may be able to sneak up a kill. Yep, got one. I'm just gonna go ahead and go around. I know that they're fighting, somebody's on the left of me, so I gotta push in. I was getting pinched to deal away. Nice cancel, nice cancel. I really should have just, uh. I should have been able to win that one, but. Kind of panicked, panicked a little bit. It's alright. We still got the kill. Let's watch the spawn. I see somebody over here in courtyard. Yep. Able to put a couple shots in. He's still running. Oh, almost, almost. I see a blade dance now. Okay. See him running out this way. Oh, and then I got shot in the back. I thought the blade dance was going to come out uh, where I was. So I didn't push back as fast. Okay, I hear shots again. Oh, good stuff on that Luna. Wow, that tripled up. Just remember, it's not over until it's over. You never know. I want you, when you're practicing uh, Rumble, to not have the, oh, I have to win every game, every encounter. You're doing it for practice. When you're, when you're training, your, your key goal should be to get better. Not to win. All because you win doesn't mean you got better. Oh no, that was bad. That was a bad choice by me. Wow. Oh, the smoke went behind him. Like, little mistakes like that. Like, I realized that I made that mistake. And hopefully, you know, I don't make the same one again. At least not in the same game. That'd be bad. Grow as a player. Work on your shots, you know, as best you can. Pre-firing, just assuming he's going that way. He was, but he popped up a little bit. So I throw a Wombo in. Someone's behind me. Now I have to look this way. Oh, the Nova Bomb. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Walk to my fire? Not quite, though. Oh, that Goldie. Good stuff. And now the leader only needs one more kill. But still fighting to the end. Never give up. Oh, nice tether. Oh, well, good stuff to them. Good stuff to them. And there you have it. Ended up going negative. I died a lot that game. But we got a cryptic dragon. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. My first game in that one. Not the best performance, but it's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the best. Doing it for examples and to get better. That was my warm up game, actually. That was my first game of the, of the day, so it's all good. No harm, no foul. But yeah, uh, when it comes to Rumble, it's really good for just a lot of scenarios to, to get better at it. You'll get the situational awareness because you have to know that somebody's behind you. If you don't know that somebody's behind you after you just engage in a battle, then you're just gonna get flanked and die. So you have to be quick, very, very quick um, to be able to react to those kind of situations. Um, hearing shots, knowing that there's a battle engaged and pushing in to clean up kills, that helps out because that transitions to, that transitions to trials when some people do not communicate when they're engaged in the fight, you'll hear shots. And I tell people that too. I say, I hear shots, you know, what's going on? So because of in Rumble, you're hearing shots constantly, you know that there's an, an engagement. Same thing in Trials. If you hear shots and your teammate's not saying anything, you should probably go check it out. Also, it helps with those 1v1 engagements I was talking about. It just helps with uh, a lot of things from... Situation awareness, engagements, 
Um, you'll learn what weapon is better for you. You might think that you love a pulse rifle all around because you're playing control a lot. But then you come to Rumble and you start using a palindrome. And you're like, wow, I, hand cannons are pretty nasty. So I've seen people dominate in uh, Rumble because of using hand cannons. So I think Rumble's a, a great fit for a lot of things. Oh my gosh, my hunter looks atrocious. Atrocious. On that note, let's go ahead and... Yeah, there you go. It's a lot, a lot cleaner now. I uh, hope this video helps you out. If it does, please le leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, share it to your friends. Rumble is the way. It's really good for uh, warming up. That's, that's my thing. I love using Rumble for warming up. Back when I played Halo 3, I would do Rumble all the time to warm up. Because it gets you ready. Because in um, in 4v4s, uh, in Halo is 4v4s, and now it's 6v6 and Destiny. But in 6v6, you're just kind of running out there, shooting. You know, kind of you, you kind of just go to autopilot mode when you're just running to running to the um, B zone. So you're just playing. You're like, okay, going to B zone. Oh shit, the whole fucking team is there. You didn't even realize that. They were on your motions the whole time, but you just decided to go ahead and warrior straight to B. Even though you knew that no teammates were with you. Smart, smart, uh, smart choices are made when you, uh, don't warm up. But in Rumble, it, make, it forces you to wake up. It's that splash of water on your face when you wake up in the morning. Or when you jump on Destiny, you know what I mean? To get ready for, uh, bigger, better things. And I think that the actually I don't think I know that in Rumble it'll transition a lot of those skills into trials. How many one v one battles do you go into? How many one v two battles do you go into? There are there are a lot of one v one engagements and trials, and people shy away from it because of that. So they like to hold hands when it comes to trials. Um, if they're getting a so-called carry uh, for from a, a streamer. They like to hold hands with that streamer and they kind of stay close, which isn't always the best thing because Wombo Combos, Lightning Grenades, um, just an incendiary, incendiary Grenade can get you both killed. So you don't want to be holding hands all the time. So, so excuse me, so you're going to need to learn how to go out and fight on your own. You're not always going to have that carry partner with you in every engagement that you have. You're not always going to have a team shot in every engagement that you have. Every game type, whether it's supremacy, whether it's control, whether it's clash, you're not always going to have that teammate with you in every engagement. I mean, it would be nice to have a team shot all the time, but you're not going to have that. Because of that, Rumble will help you better those skills and it'll get you ready for those 1v1 engagements I've been talking um, enough I feel like oh wow it's it's kind of a long video I'm sorry that that uh, that happens I, I can talk talk my head off or talk your head off but on that note this is Shino Brush Papa Smoke for now I hope you enjoyed the video I am going to pause this music as you know it's th today is Friday so we're gonna get into some trials we're gonna do a movie night. If you want to know what that movie night is, then hit me up in the chat. Twitch.tv slash Shinobi Rush. Boom. Boom. Found it. Click that link. Wait, there, there it is. Is that, is that what? Wait. Ah, found it. There you go. Click that link. And then come watch me play live. Hit me up in the chat. Say, yo, what's up, Shinobi? I saw you from YouTube. Boom. I'll give you a shout out right there. All right, show me some smoke. You guys have an awesome one. Stay awesome. Stay smexy. Stay gorgeous. And happy Veterans Day. I myself am a veteran. And uh, happy Veterans Day to all those who have served, are serving. Uh, your sacrifice means a lot. And I know what that means. So thank you, brothers and sisters in arms. Much love. Peace.